Like the camera, the camera is more like zoomed out. Uh, well, no, it's not more zoomed out, but it's on a tripod. It's on a different tripod that sits a little higher, and uh, you know, it's, it's just a little different, man. It saved it. I don't. I would say. I would say like some of the people are saying it depends. I think it really depends. I don't think it. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't say like really ruin but if i feel like it made a lot more people lazier and a lot more people with less talented vocals uh makes them seem like they're they're like 10 times superior than like what they really probably are so that's really my take I feel like pharrell in 07 on my shoes ice cream they start stop them out it's a man down baby Milo custom pc getting fanned out not from the block i'm from the h and we don't play around catch him at a red light with a nerf gun we gonna spray him down Auto-tune ruined music is an exhausted argument that old people have been complaining about for the past 15 years. Their assumption is that you can use the tool on anyone's voice and it will magically make them a great singer, yes. which is only partially true. Nah, Look that's at this bad that's, singer. I ain't gonna lie, it is true though. It's it's literally true though. With auto-tune versus a good singer with auto-tune. To the fire, to the land, to the wall. Oh, I sound good. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know I've been looking for you. So basically the tool can make a bad singer somewhere. No, 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 no. First of all, that nigga need to clear his fucking throat. I don't know what the hell he was trying to do. I think he was like purposely trying to I think he was like purposely trying to do that, but like, bro, all you gotta do is through the night. In a house in my heart, it is in my heart. Cause I, cause I, cause I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, maybe I'm just a fire singer, man. Maybe I'm just a fire singer. Hmm? Maybe that's what it is. Does that mean since my auto tune sounds good that I'm just a good singer? Tolerable and a good singer sound near perfect, but some artists use it for creative purposes. T Pain is the artist most commonly associated with auto tune, and he's actually a phenomenal singer. He used the effect in 2004 not to be better, but to be different. During the mm. beginning of this video, I want you to stop thinking about artists like T-Pain, Travis Scott, Kanye West, and anyone else who uses auto-tune as a creative effect. That's not who we're talking about right now. The artist- I wanna go to the moon And all leaves are soon Chat. How's it sound? Just me, though. Just me. I, I wanna go to the moon Okay, hold on. <clears throat> I wanna go to the moon. Awesome. <laughs> I wanna go to the Yo, I think I was hitting that man. Artists in question are the ones who are understood to be good or great singers, but use auto-tune to achieve perfection because there is a big problem with perfect singing. But first, a word from our sponsor, Kamikoto. Over 800 Kamikaze. years of Japanese technology a knife? expertise has a gone blade? into creating the steel that makes up these knives. All steel is sourced from- Oh my God, this look, like some, this look like something he would advertise, bro. He like a butcher, God damn. God damn. All right, come on. Talk to me, man. Shout out to the W, uh, w ad. Kamikoto.com slash PatrickCC and use my promo code PatrickCC to get $50 off your purchase. $50? Thanks, Kamikoto. It's good to note that Autotune is a plugin, a program that was invented by Andy Hildebrand in 1997. Mm, shout out to Andy. 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 Mm. The word auto is important because the program automatically perfects their singing in real time. Shortly after, another similar program was invented called Melodyne. The basic goal of these tools, Melodyne. pitch correction. 
When an artist sings, they're trying to hit specific notes. Mm -hmm. If they miss a note, these tools will essentially force the sound recording up or down in pitch to correct the Ooh. error. But missing a note is not an error. It's called character, style, color, emotion. Sure, if you miss every note, or are constantly missing notes, you are just bad at singing. But the way a singer misses the notes is what makes them unique. Listen to the before and after pitch correction on a great singer's voice. Okay. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Please stop. Stop, bro. Okay, hold on. I got you, bro. Now I had to be petty for the one time, one time. The way a singer misses the notes is what makes them unique. Listen to the before and after pitch correction on a great singer's voice. Okay. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. You may not be able to hear a huge difference, no but the version with Melodyne removes some of the soul in Bill's voice. Here's an example that is a little more obvious. Let me go home. Notice how that E4 note Michael Bublé sang is a perfectly straight line? This would be like pressing down on a piano. The accuracy is next to impossible to achieve by a human. Oh, I'm just far from where you are. His singing just kind of sounds like noise. Like a robot, no emotion, which kind of defeats the point I'm just because it's an emotional high. song. Here's another example. When my eyes were stared by the flash of a neon light. Just sounds very robotic and soulless. Now compare that to someone who is I, not using autotune. I don't know, I kind of fuck with it, bro, you know? I think both is kind of cool, though. Online just sounds very robotic and soulless now compare y'all st stop acting like you can hear it no it actually does sound right y'all bro all y'all let's do anytime anytime i play any type of music with those type of vocals y'all like oh my god what is this oh my god old people music like what bro stop shut up pair that to someone who is not using autotune Now, Freddie Mercury is considered to be one of the best of all time, but this singing isn't perfect pitch. I literally seen a wait. I, I literally seen a movie or like a clip from his movie, uh, where he was like in front of the what was he doing? He's like, ah! and the crowd was like, ah! 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 hold on, hold on, let me show y'all, bro. It's it's so fire. Chat. What's his name? What is his name? Or what is this? What, what was the movie? Fuck! It was so fire. Ah, 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 ah. Uh. ah, the live aid concert. That's what it was. They did like a com. Here it is, right here. Hey, oh. fire bro i can only imagine what it was like i can only imagine what it was like to to be there in that moment you can see he's missing some notes but it still sounds amazing filled with emotion with life perfect pitch removes the human element of the voice yeah but these days human connection doesn't even matter not using autotune might actually do more harm than good true human because people could just gonna be in the comments and be like yo this shit this shit kind of ass connection mattered then electronic dance yo, music wouldn't be as popular yo. as it is hold on, hold on stone thank you for this up in most genres it seems like the connection Bro. mattered then electronic dance music wouldn't be i thought that was desmond as popular as it is <laughs> i thought that, yo, I thought that was... is in most genres say, it seems yo, what the like fuck? the connection comes from right. the rhythm of the beat or the lyrics rather than the actual voice of the performer however i think we can agree that hearing an artist perform their work with no effects makes us feel something I couldn't fight it. I'd hoped you'd see my face and that you'd be reminded that for me. Rare. Love with you. With you. 
You know, I love when singers do that jaw thing. There's something special about a human that can sing so well. Even singers who don't have amazing pitch are able to evoke an emotional response to the listener they based so dramatic. on the passion Shut up. they convey. <laughs> Oh my god, I remember when I heard this. I, I, I played this shit so many times, bro. And they convey. That shit was so good. One more time. And they convey. I'm sorry. Tired of bathing and running up, I gotta put the new bells inside of the freezer. Back at the trap, I was ducking the people, ducking the birds, sending out the me. Shiggy wiggy. So you would assume that live performances is where you get to see all your favorite artists perform their songs in their natural voice. Maybe. Some singers are very adamant about not using autotune in live performances, but sometimes autotune is applied to their microphones without them even knowing. Mm. Ooh. Yo, can we, let's, I know we're live right now, but I think you guys have some tune on my vocals or something. Bieber's autotune was likely set to the wrong key, which was making his singing sound terrible. If it was in the right key, he may not have even noticed. Mm. But does a singer using autotune live ruin the value of the performance? Is no. it dishonest? No? Like chat, I, I feel like it's so normal. I feel like it's so, I actually feel like it's like, if they not saying that, or if you don't know, then that shit could be dishonest. And also like people would just start to realize it once you actually do a show. People are like, yo wait, hold on, that's, that's, that's like, this is how you sound for real bro? But, but I feel like it's not dishonest. It's just part of the, you know, part of the shit bro. I don't know, it's just. When you consider they have to dance, engage the crowd, and pay- A lot- yeah, a lot of people lip sync, bro. You think they really- you- Would you really want to hear a concert where, like, the words is like, Yo, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I When I- what? Yo! Water! I need the water- I need the water, yeah! I get those goosebumps every time! Yo, god damn, it's hot as a bit. Yo, is anybody else hot right now? God damn, god damn, god damn, god damn. Don't nobody want to hear all that shit? So sometimes it's best to let, let them not even exhaust their vocals and just jump around and play play with the crowd and talk, talk on the mic whenever they want to. Pace themselves properly it. for one or two hours, they get fatigued and are likely to miss some notes. So a little help Chat. from auto-tune is Went the to an Uzi concert, this nigga was barely like doing his shit in the, in the mic but was jumping in the crowd and shit like that. It was like the best experience. And I feel like that's that's the best way to, to uh, that's the best outcome for a concert is to not just sit there and listen to them like barely half-ass perform their song on stage, but for them to vibe out with the crowd and get in, in the crowd and shit like that. And I feel like that's money well spent rather than just sitting there like, yeah, oh, I like this song, yes. Re let me repeat it word for word like I do in the fucking car. Could have done this for free thing in the world think about the big bright lights look at this shit bro look at, like look at them just for them to have their phones out anyway which means you could have just watched the shit on youtube from somebody's phone bro bass blasting but i get it i get it so if some, for some people it's different like it's different when you're there live of course it is of course it's different when you're there live but me personally i'm just like eh, i'm good through the massive speakers standing in the middle of a sea of people everyone dancing and living in the moment that is what makes the performance memorable. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what type of music is playing or who is performing it, as long as the energy and environment is right. Exactly. Most rappers don't even perform. Prime example, bro. Prime example, bro. Perform their songs. They just play the MP3 version that you would listen to on Spotify, and they jump around screaming a few of the words. But rap fans still love these concerts. They don't like it when you tell them the truth. I'd rather be really than you. And these fans are starting to encourage the use of the effect. Oh the attitude God. towards autotune varies from genre to genre. In EDM, nobody cares. Daft Punk have been using all kinds of crazy vocal effects since their inception, and nobody ever mentions them. After all, it is called electronic music. Yeah. In hip hop, it was heavily rejected at first, but thanks to a few legendary artists such as T-Pain, Kanye West, and Lil Wayne, over time it became beloved. Go. Now most hip hop fans don't mind the use of the effect. In rock, pop, country, and other genres that have been traditionally dominated by talented vocalists is where artists get the most criticism. 
I mean, these are some of the oldest genres where 50, 60, 70 years ago, your performance was everything. You mm -hmm. wouldn't have a career if you weren't a good vocalist. That's why them songs, like the older songs, be so good and have so much feeling. And I think that's why I really like that, those, uh, like that type of music uh, from back then. Because you could just, I don't know, you could just feel it and it hits different than what people rely on now, which is bass and um, uh, the auto tune and shit. These days, if you don't use auto tune, it might actually hurt your potential. Kids and young adults will always be deciding what the status quo is for. That's true. Don't nobody want to hear rapping no more. Like nigg niggas don't want to hear somebody just no, uh, no auto tune, just rapping. They'll be like, Oh God, what a bore fest. Holy, holy shit. Get this old head music out of here. What is this? The fucking nineties, bro. God damn. Are you going to bring out a boom box next, bro? Holy shit. For pop culture. If you don't have a young fan base, you won't be topping the charts. Young. I ain't going to lie. Ye yo, man. And I, I like it too, though. But I like it. But I like both though. Like I, I like all, like, I like all genres of music, but I can see the appeal, bro. I can see the appeal when you when somebody turn on some yeet. That shit just, it's just different, bro. People have been so conditioned to hearing perfect pitch for the past 20 years that when we hear something that isn't perfect, it sounds unprofessional or unfinished. Since the industry standard has been pushed to use pitch correction, you have to use it to stay competitive. This leads people to believe that it ruined the music industry. Now the barrier to entry into the music industry is lower than ever. Anyone can buy a $50 microphone online, download or purchase a DAW and auto-tune and record a song, then post it on TikTok, yep. go viral, and get a record deal. Yep. But is that a bad thing? If people like the song, then they like the song. Music is subjective. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, JIM, JID does, uh, does do both, and I feel, I feel like he does it so well. I feel like his album's gonna be slept on. But, like, even just, like, raw vocals sometimes, just, it just be hitting, bro. Sometimes people just be hitting it, man. Objective after all. However, some artists will spend years and years mastering their craft, only for it to fall on deaf ears, whereas others blow up by accident Damn. or off a gimmick. Does one person deserve more recognition than another? Should there be a new Grammy or award or category for real singers? Or Ooh. I feel like, but I feel like nobody like, like you get your, you get your stuff when, whenever you get it. Your time comes whenever your time comes. I don't feel like nothing, I don't feel like anything should be taken away from somebody else just because a large uh, part of people don't like it. Like, you know, little pump shit. I don't feel like all his accolades should be taken away just because a lot of people don't fuck with it. I feel like, you know, some people have their time and then other people's time will come. Um, but yes, yeah, some people are actually really talented and their time never comes, which is just, that's just, just unfortunate. Like. It just be like that sometimes but i feel like if you do that then if you like start picking and choosing then it kind of looks like handouts like bro because it starts with no more like no auto-tune award goes to and then like best auto-tune and then like best ad lib. It, we just start doing little shit and it gets ridiculous for non-auto-tune singers i don't think we should auto -tune put tune is just another i don't think we should put boxes on shit technological advancement that was bound to happen humans are always trying to make things easier faster more efficient yeah people think that singing is just a natural talent it mostly isn't it takes years and years of practice and training along with maintaining that skill singers are constantly warming up their vocals making sure they eat and drink properly and trying to maintain their skill but if you are pretty good or very good or kind of good just slap a little bit of auto-tune and speed up that process yep because if you spend too we much time perfecting your voice there's a new singer that pops up every six months who might captivate the audiences oh my god i forgot about this yeah we definitely don't got a war tomorrow 12 12 a.m 12 a.m chat as soon as the game drops we're gonna start streaming at like 11. it's interest and they use auto-tune the world is moving at we're gonna start streaming at like a we're gonna start streaming at yo is he about to hit this car oh it's fast forward i was about to say what the fuck am i just about to witness a car crash and greatness takes time but people don't want to wait for greatness anymore no nope. so most artists are not willing to take the risk and miss their chance at achieving their music dream that is true bro everything is the fast way everything is the fast way and people don't want to wait like people not trying to take time to be like okay hold on let me make this right let me perfect this let me do this then the third they just kind of want to drop it like just just drop shit even if it doesn't sound like great if 
if if it's doing numbers like i mean and that makes sense there's nothing wrong with it i'm just saying like what's the point of trying to perfect something or make it good if people just like it the way it is i've seen that shit too with uh because i used to like to react like when i did reactions i used to take the videos and i wanted to edit it make it all cool make it you know zoom zoom ins have this effects have little like subtitles and shit like that by the time i'm sitting there editing like three niggas then already posted my same reaction to some song and already got like hundreds of thousands of views and i'm like what what the fuck these people don't care they don't care about the edits they don't even care about the damn thumbnails bro they just they just want this shit bro they just they just want it so that's why that's exactly why i just post if you haven't followed my i'm still dante channel literally sh shit that we check out from from uh on twitch uh we just checked out the drake album we checked out like uh 60 percent of the album that's gonna be posted there uh because people just want things fast bro they don't, don't want to wait man they don't care about the edits but gaming now that's different i'm so glad that more games are coming out chat i'm i'm super excited